In our first video, we learned that the primary greenhouse gas is not carbon dioxide, but rather it's water vapor. In this video, we'll learn an equally impactful and important inconvenient fact, and that is that the warming effect of each molecule of CO2 decreases as the concentration increases. In the great climate change debate, and yes, Virginia, there is a debate, uh, climate scientists on both sides of the issue have determined, and both sides agree, that the warming effect of each molecule of CO2 decreases significantly or logarithmically as its concentration increases. Uh, this chart, uh, which was developed based on the formula provided in the last intergovernmental panel on climate change, uh, shows how the increase in concentration of CO2 actually decreases the warming effect of each molecule. This chart represents perhaps a more easily understandable uh, form of the same data we looked at in the previous chart. Uh, the CO2 concentration is on the left and its warming effect for each hundred part per million increase is shown on the right. And you can see that the first 200 parts per million uh, provided almost 80 percent of the warming effect we get raising uh, CO2 levels to a thousand parts per million. And at our current levels it represents 87 percent of the possible warming from CO2 that we would get by raising it again to 1,000, which is two and a half times our current levels. The diminishing warming effect of CO2 as its concentration increases is one reason why there was no runaway temperature increases when CO2 concentrations were 10 and even 15 times what they are today. This inconvenient fact, important as it is, is kept very well hidden and is very rarely mentioned. Why? Because it undermines the theory of future catastrophic climate change due to increasing CO2.